Don't be a hoarder. Don't be a hoarder. Oh, but all the plants. Oh, I just happened to stop by my favorite greenhouse right at the right time when it was loaded. Hi friends, and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Yvonne and you are on Ginger Chick Rehab. In today's video, yes, I am outside. I am ready, getting itchy fingers <laughs> to use my green thumb. Anyway, oh my gosh, so we're gonna be doing some container gardening. I'm gonna share with you my salvage finds, my rusty crusties of what I, how I do my container gardens along with some weed control, some yard prep, just the little things to get ready for the summer season. And stay tuned to the end of the video if you're a regular here on our channel for the announcement that you all have been waiting for. If you've watched a couple of my haul videos, you know that our daughter bought her first house. That is awesome. And so part of the early spring prep was like, hey, if you want some of the plants that I have for yours, please come and take them. She was a gardener back in her 4-H days, so she knows what to do with them. So she's a smart woman to take those beautiful hostas. I know how big these hostas are going to get, so they are going to quickly overrun the small little garden, so take as many as she wants, and probably I'm not getting it all anyway, and some will grow back. And she just adopted the three cutest little kitties. Actually, there's four. <laughs> they couldn't find the fourth one, so I said, you should really take some of my catnip plant for those cute little kitties. And I have a little bit of prep that I need to do. I don't know why. This is a spring plant that I never got all the dead stuff off. Um, I'm going to be remulching this area. She's actually taking her 4-H projects, her stepping stones with her. Um, and I will be doing some weed control with some preem in this area. This is our back shed area that we painted last year. Got a new roof on. And now it just needs some freshened up mulch. I did have to paint one of the first rungs. There's no um gutters on this one so the rain causes the paint to go away <laughs> and that fencing down there is so the groundhogs don't make their lovely home underneath there but oh my beautiful peonies will be popping soon enough There's so many people that get, use the natural, the mixture of concoctions for weed killers. But plain and simply, I do not like to weed. So I um, was suggested this by a farmer friend. So I ordered this off of Amazon. This is comes in such a huge side that it lasts me three years. I invested in a battery-operated sprayer, well worth the money. I, like I said, I am not climbing up these rocks just to weed. I'd rather just kill them off. And the thing about a sprayer is you don't want to do it when it's windy or when you know it's going to rain. It needs a good 15 minutes to be on there to soak in. But I... You know, like I said, I don't want to have to weed anything. After I do my weed control spray that kills off any weeds, then I use Preem, which will stop any from the seedlings from hatching. I love this. I only have to do this in the spring and in the fall. And then when that prep is done, then I can do the fun of, okay, well, my family's helping, do the fun of remulching the areas that just helps hold moisture in. It really pops your plants. It all depends. We like the black. I'm a black and white girl. So you can get the mulch in whatever color you want. But it just really freshens up your house. And it's good for the plants.
Now that we have that part done, it's time to work on the, my containers. And not always do I empty all the way out. Some of the grasses look pretty in the fall with the mums, so I leave them up, but boy, do they make a root bomb. And I am a galvanized girl. I pick up galvanized aged buckets anywhere I can, and I love a planting in them. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to share with you how and what I do um, to these containers to get them ready for the spring summer season and what I do on my planting. There's just something about plants. It just really makes your house look like a home. And that's always a personal opinion, but oh, I always look forward to this time of year to get that pop of color going. I have a favorite. I have a favorite greenhouse, which is actually Ace Hardware in Marshall, Michigan, and I love their plants, and I look forward to it. What they get in is what they get in, so you have to go early, and I'm always usually seems to be late when I remember, but this year I remembered to go before Mother's Day, and I'm so excited because I got a lot of these beautiful yummies. As you can see, some of my galvanized are quite large. Some of the pots that you get are quite large. So I do not empty out my dirt all the way down every year. Unless the whole dirt mound is root bound, I leave as much dirt as I can in there. And for some reason, I have rocks in here. Who, know, who knows why? But yes, now I have to do the fun of this big pot and getting this big old grass that has died off. You know, a lot of times we are zone five in Michigan. So really look at your zones because I know the big box stores will sell a lot of things as perennials. And depending on your zone, it may only be an annual. A perennial is something that comes back year after year. And an annual is something that you're going to have to plant every year. So even though they sell it, doesn't mean... It is what it is. Really try to pay attention to your zones if you can. If you ever wondered why you planted that perennial and it didn't come back, sometimes it's just because it's a perennial in some other state, but it may not be a perennial in your state. So what I do here is I actually save the styrofoam that comes in packaging to make my plants, my pots, lightweight. And it also helps with the drainage. So each one of these has drainage holes that we drilled in the galvanized. So these will always be my potting, <laughs> my potting galvanized. But the styrofoam, like I said, makes it lightweight and then helps for drainage, and then you don't have to put so much dirt in there. Here is how I like to plant my containers. So I always try to do something tall, whether it's depending on the size of the container, whether it's in the middle or off to the one side, I always like to do something that is going to give it height. And this fern, I absolutely ran across this fern last year and loved it. It is a annual <laughs> here in Michigan. It did not grow back. Um, actually, this was the pot that it was in, so you could see there was no live to it whatsoever. Even though I do have ferns in my own landscaping that grow back every year, this fern is not one of them. And now I like to use Miracle Girls Moisture Control Soil. I really do find that the soil makes a difference and that I only have to usually water once a day in the season. I check to see if there's moisture or if it's dry or not. But now I have a couple other beautiful, beautiful. I always add, I like the colors. I like the tones of the greens all together. And I like things that trendle down that will give a little bit like a tear down effect and then things that'll trundle over as they grow. And if you notice that your container from the pot is really root bound, just open up that bottom, kind of get those roots stimulated a little bit to get them to attach and start to grow. Sometimes that container just, they are so root bound by the time you get them, they just need a little bit, little bit of help. And then I kind of just work in like twos, twos, threes, fours, <laughs> you know, it's whatever visual. That's the fun about planting. Just buy what you like, get the colors you like, have fun with the plants. They're just absolutely gorgeous. After I get them all in and then I really top them off with some more of the soil and then really pack it in. So when I add the first watering, I'm just not washing it out. The 
this is not my normal DIY craft or creating something. It is creating. It is a DIY, you know. I love gardening just as much as I love crafting. And it's such a short season here in Michigan that I get so excited. So I'll just share a few more of my pots with you all. Now, my next favorite on this one is um, Lantana. Lantana is one thing here in our area that is only an annual so you have to put it in a pot or you can you can plant annuals in the ground by all means but i like to plant it by our water feature or pot it by our water feature and by my hummingbird feeders because the hummingbirds love lantana So for my smaller pots or my galvanized buckets, a lot of times they really get root bound so I can't save any of the dirt. And sometimes what I put in there, um, like styrofoam, just is so root bound it's not worth it. But you can put anything you want. Um, let me know down in the comments below what you put in the bottom so you don't have to use all the dirt and that you help with drainage. So yeah, I just will put some of the pots that the plants come in into the bottom so that helps with drainage that helps fill that void of not having to use so much dirt it works the same <laughs> hope that you are enjoying today's video and I hope that you find it informative. I love sharing the little bit of knowledge that I have. Um, the other thing I like to do is find items that I can um, lift my pots up. Here in Michigan, it gets so humid that we get critters, you know, little, little insects that like to live up live underneath the pots and if I rise them up one it helps with drainage and then it doesn't give a place for the little insects to live so you'll notice a lot of pretty much all my pots are up on some kind of a stand whether it's a plant stand or it was a chimney stand or whatever the stand was for I just always am trying to find them when I'm thrifting now these geraniums had some dead leaves so I'm going to make the plant healthy by clipping those off before planting them Now, last year I got this retractable hose from Giraffe Tools. Oh, has it held up? Have I loved it? Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> a retractable hose that you don't have to mess with. Yeah, and then just a finger control. Amazing. And of course, like anything, you know, when you add something new, the next thing you know, you're moving your decor around. So I moved this over there and this over there. And this is just what we do. I, along with my daughter getting her new house, um, we gave her some of our outdoor furniture along with our fire pit because, you know, she's the age where 
she has a lot more people over at night <laughs> to enjoy the outdoor fire pit than we did that we had. So why not? So yep, now it's just time to give them a nice healthy drink. So oh, one last thing that I want to share in this video is um, algae control. As you see, when I was watering, I saw a whole bunch of um, green. That's just algae, so I don't feel like I want to spend the time to power wash my back deck at the time. So I'm going to be using Wet and Forget. Love this stuff. If you know, if you're having a get together, you're like, oh my gosh, I don't, you know, all you have to do is spray it on and with an hour, your green is gone, y'all. So this is just wonderful. And I'm working on the same container I've had for years. So well worth the vestment. You can put it in a sprayer or some type of a spray bottle and then just spray it on. Not only is it good for the concrete, I can spray it on, which this is the piece that was over on that side, probably why it was all, <laughs> it was all algae over there for whatever it was attracting the algae. Um, so yeah, it's the cement, the wood, it is safe for fabric. It does not bleach it out, whatever the chemical, I am not a chemist, the mixture is, it just goes in and destroys the algae and makes it a normal color.
So thank you for watching today's video and I just love sharing flowers and the outdoor experience with you all. And I know, you know the weed controls always hit or miss of people who aren't, y'all, I, I don't want to pull weeds. Plain and simple, I don't want to pull weeds. So whatever I can do to manage that, I want to enjoy my beautiful gardens, but I do not want to pull weeds. <laughs> so, and I love, and y'all, yep, yep. Okay, y'all, yes, I had to plant containers that I could take with me. So yes, Chris and I are moving. We found a beautiful house with a much larger workshop as you know we've outgrown our workshop did not take long and we outgrew it so we actually are going to be starting a new channel called Kristen Yvonne GCR the journey so where we're going to take a house and make it a home and share the process with you all on that and also we're going from a workable shop a workable shop um, to a bare bone shop. So we're gonna have to create and start all over again. So that is what the journey is going to be. We are gonna share the process with you all weekly or however many videos come out of it, of all the things that we now have to do, plus create content for Ginger Chick Rehab. So I hope that you will pop over, check that out. It's down in the description box. Um, slowly, um, We'll get videos on there, but as the process goes, we have to sell our house and move into the other house, but we close here in June. So it's it's all gonna be happening right on top of each other. Both our kids are now, we're out of the house, and so we're empty nesters. So it was the time to make the move and God wink moment, this, this beautiful house came up with these amazing, not only one workshop, but for some extra storage for us all. So I can't give too much away because I'm really super excited. So thanks again for watching, guys. And as always, let me know, do you love the Rusty Krusty? Do you love to be outdoors container gardening? How do you control the weeds in your yard? <laughs> let me know down in the comments below. Again, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, if you're part of our YouTube family here and Ginger Chick Rehab, we would love to have you on Chris and Yvonne GCR The Journey as well. Thanks for watching guys and we will see you next time and you can see all the things that we're up to. Bye! Mm -hmm.